Hello, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, let me just sit down actually, it's easier to sit down. I've just finished my first adjustment to my four heart accords that I've started to make. So I wanted to give you an update of what I've found so far. Um, the other day I did four sniff tests on four new ingredients. Hi Bo. Um, I bought four things, beginning with a C, not intentionally actually. I bought um, coconut, cardamom, cinnamon bark and caraway. And I did sniff tests on all of them and 24 hours later on the drips and everything, all of them apart from coconut were still really apparent so I didn't quite anticipate what was going to happen and cinnamon bark I've discovered is a bit of a biatch. Um, it's pretty much overtaken all three of those blends even though it's in different amounts in all of them and this one where it's only got one drop in it is pretty much not even there so I've had to do some kind of major adjusting to them which is you know it's expected but I just didn't expect it to be quite so powerful so the problems of a trainee perfumer um, I've just two things stick in my head when I do these kind of things because learning on my course I've been doing this for two years up to this point to reach this point and two things my tutor told me is you know you can always add but you can't take away so you have to be a bit cautious but at the same time you have to make bold choices so when I was when I first started making quite simple accords uh, two years ago just you know two ingredients just to try and get balance or three um, I would spend weeks and weeks and weeks, it took me six weeks once to get something how I wanted it because I would, was adjusting it by one drop at a time in fear of it going completely wrong um, and she told me you know you have to be bold, you have to let your artistic juices flow and don't be scared to just be a bit bolder so rather than you know just add a drop here and then smell it again a day later and then add one more drop you know it's gonna it would take 20 years so you know, I've made big adjustments here where I've changed it from being one drop to 20 for certain things and just really tried to get some sort of balance and order to all of them. So that's where I'm at so far. Um, I've made some good choices, I think, with, with these four. That's the one I was most looking forward to because it had the least cinnamon. I'd already smelled one, two, three and thought, oh gosh, cinnamon is going to be the prevailing note in everything at these early stages. But I will kick cinnamon's ass. Um, this one I'm ex excited to see, so just wanted to give you an update. I, I don't know how often I'm going to do it, but I thought I'd track the progress of it because it's it's kind of fun. I've got a little not a cheat sheet here, but it's it gives you a bit of a clue of what a quite harmonious blend. So, for instance, what have I got here? I've got I'm going to put cardamom in mine. So it says here that um, cardamom goes well with rose, orange, bergamot, cinnamon, which is good because I'm putting that in mine. Cloves, caraway, I didn't even know that but um, caraway's going in mine and cedarwood and also cloves are in my carnation accord so it's good. I did that without even realising so that could be a good thing so until I see you guys soon for another review, have a nice evening which I'm going to do a review right now actually um, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Okay, goodbye!